video and we are going to start with the true highlight. It is the new Beretta M9A3. Right. Tell something about it. Yeah. It is uh, CO2 driven by a single uh, 12 gram CO2 capsule. It is inside the magazine. Down here is the screw for it. You put it inside here. On the front side you have the chamber for the steel BBs. It's chambered in 4.5 millimeter BB. But it's not. It says 9 millimeter para ah, here. Yes. Something we're going to point out. Oh, for sure. <laughs> It, of course, it, um, we uh, have the inscriptions right like the original one um, to have most detailed, uh, detailed gun on the market. This is actually the first time that I see, in, or maybe in Germany, I don't know about, about the other countries uh, and, and the law might differ on there, but in Germany, to me, it's something new to have actually the responding or the true caliber of the, of the real steel gun written on an air gun on the slide. So every, every collector is going to have a huge grin right yes. now on his face, all right? Yeah, that's so right. so th th that's, a, that's a black version of the, of the uh, normal uh, M9A3, which is known by Beretta for the US Army. This is a full black one. It is a full metal. It has uh, the metal slide and it has a metal grip and it has blowback. So the slide uh, It goes back, back and forth, back right? And forth, right. So everyone who is into realism, and I might say it actually, would you mind handing me the magazine so that me, it actually does handle really well. It's also, it feels like it's almost the same weight. Of course, you can point it, yes, it points just as naturally as the original does. And so I can believe this, oh, see, you also have a threaded barrel, I right, can see. Right, right. It is a uh, 40 millimeter counter clock. Counter clock, thread. all right. There it comes, all right. It even has oil on there. Yep. Good job. All right, the way it's supposed to be. All right, and you can see for the A3 version of the M9, we also have a, we also have a rail down here. Sure. And I was always, oh, the trigger is nice too. Yep. Let me, all right, let's now check the trigger reset. You can see my fingers traveling forwards. And there you had it already. Hold on, let me do that again. Now I'm pulling the trigger, I'm at, I'm at the wall. There it goes. Now the reset, you can almost hear it. I'm gonna hold it next to my microphone, all right? Now the finger is traveling, it's traveling forward. There it was. That's a nice reset as well. It does have the same safety mechanism as the original. Of course, I was always wondering how you take them apart. Maybe if you wouldn't mind, you can show us. True. First, we take off the magazine. Make a safety check, of course, and then, like the origin one, turn down this lever and take the barrel apart. You see the spring, the barrel, and the nozzle, and in the same way you can... And there we are. So also, just like the real deal, for people who maybe own already a Beretta, maybe not an M9, but a 92FS. So maybe those people want to use it for dry fire practice at home. They don't want yeah. to use their real gun. So this is also as close to the original right. and in terms of handling and also in terms of optics. Oh, and I want to show you one more thing. Of course, it does come with the original Beretta markings on the grip. So this is it, guys. It's the new Beretta M9A3.